If you're looking for places to go and get a treat, we have Waffle Love in Provo, Utah. You've got to get there if you haven't yet. It's like an icon little restaurant here in Provo. There's two locations. There's one over on State Street, which is the real iconic one that kind of looks like an old food truck from days gone by. And then they have a new location over in the shops at Riverwoods, which is more like a state of art shop. So I really like going to the iconic one on State Road because it just gives you that nostalgia feeling when you're there. Now, yes, waffles are not great for you. They're not the best. They're not healthy. There's not like healthy options. We can pretend there's healthy options by ordering the waffles with strawberries on top and Nutella, but it's actually not very healthy. But who can avoid and turn down indulging in the best waffles in all of Utah over at Waffle Love. I wanted to tell you a little story about how Waffle Love got started. It all began back with when Adam Terry, he was a motivated father. He had a burning passion to pursue his dream and to provide for his family. He lost his banking job and he hustled and he tried all sorts of other kind of jobs, but he had this really good idea of turning a closed down restaurant into a Belgian waffle shop. But the problem was he didn't have any money. But he figured out he was going to find a way to do this. So he decided to become the first food truck in Utah County. At first, his wife didn't really like the idea, but she saw how Adam was so excited and so passionate about this. So they took a $5,000 loan from his wife's grandmother and they had good credit. So they started building up a waffle at their food truck. They only invested $1,300 in their food truck. And Melissa, his wife, designed the truck. She painted it. And she got their marketing on point. That is amazing because it is an amazing design. They even imported waffle irons from Belgium to make sure that everything was authentic and that those waffles would taste actually like Belgian waffles. And then in July 2012, Waffle Love had its grand opening in Springville Arts, which is known as the Art City in Utah. And they had a grand opening out at the farmer's market. He wanted to sell 100 waffles a day to break even, but that is really hard. He had to find really good creative places to put the truck. And yeah, it was tough. A few people called the cops on him a couple of times to get his truck moved, but he just kept turning to his faith as a Christian. And he found comfort and inspiration in the Bible that in the verse in Philippians 4.13 that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I love that. That's one of my favorite scriptures. He repeated those words to himself countless times, reminding himself that he could overcome any obstacle that came in his work. And he did overcome every obstacle that he was faced. Waffle Love has become a huge success. They have some other branches, other parts of the country now, but the menu offers the most. They have sweet and savory waffles. So whatever is your fancy, you can pick one. I love these waffles and they are so good. They also have gift cards you can buy to give people and they are great for a breakfast or dessert or lunch or dessert after dinner. There's so many ways that and reasons for you to go, oh, one of my sons just loves their chicken waffle sandwich, which is delicious. And they also do catering and private food truck catering, which is really fun. So for weddings or for fun events and stuff, you can rent out, you can order and cater to the food trucks. This is a wonderful place. They're located at 1831 North State Street and their shops at Riverwoods. The address there is 4801 North University Avenue. Come by and see them. They are delicious. They're also open on Sundays, one of the few places that is open on Sundays around here. And they're open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So we'll see you there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what other restaurant in Provo you want us to review. 